In this video, I want to show how to install Rhapsody and get the simulation working with a code generator. I'm actually going to do it by installing Rhapsody without a compiler in the first instance, and then I'll show how you can actually add a compiler later. And the, the compiler I'm going to use install is, is Sigwin. So I'm going to do this all from scratch, including getting hold of Rhapsody. So the first thing I'll do is find Rhapsody. So I'm going to download IBM Rhapsody and you can see here it's taking me to the download page and I'm going to download the trial. So I can do this with an IBM ID. I don't need to be a customer to have an IBM ID but I do need a password. So the first thing it's doing is asking me for some marketing registration information. So I'll, I'll just pick anything here really. And I don't want to be informed. So I've got a number of options here. I could install the latest, the 90901 or uh, the last kind of eight release. Uh, I'll actually install the latest. And this is the, the, the way it installs or the the locations that it installs here are, are actually quite different, but um, I'll, I'll try and cover that. And I'll choose to download the 64-bit version. And I'll, I'll download an evaluation key. So uh, there's a license attached to a use of an evaluation, so just make sure that you comply with that license, really. Okay, so that's now downloaded. So let's just have a look at the zip file and I'll just extract that. Once it's extracted, I'll look for the setup.exe and just run that as administrator. This is the language for the installation. And uh, if I accept the terms of the license condition, and I'm actually going to choose to install the Architect System Engineering Edition, and I'll show uh, what, what that really means in terms of the installation. Uh, the same installation is used for all the different editions. Uh, the Architect for System Engineering Edition doesn't have code generation or simulation involved, whereas the designer does. But I'm going to show installing without simulation in the first perspective and then adding it. So you can see here the 901 install is default into all users and it's going to put part of the install into this program data subfolder. So uh, that's quite important because that part, that area needs to be read write. Rhapsody will write to it. Um, when I install, I, I always choose to install all the different add-ons and that's because it's easy to not use something, but it's, it's harder to use something if it's not installed. And uh, I'm going to choose to supply the license information later because that will show what happens or how Rhapsody looks for different licenses and the use of something called the Telelogic license path. So let's just click to install and then wait for the installer to complete. Okay, that's now done. Uh, I'll, ju I'll just launch here and it's not going to launch because I didn't specify the license thing and I, I just want to use that to show how Telelogic license file works. So here you go, can't find the license. So um, what it, what's it actually doing is looking for a system environment variable called Telelogic license path. Now that, that would have been set up in the install had I selected the license file in that last part of the wizard. But if you've already got DAWs installed or you've already got Rhapsody previously installed, it may already exist. So since I don't, let me put Telelogic license file here and then I'll, I'll browse to that evaluation key that I just downloaded. Now if I launch Rhapsody and I need to think about what edition to launch here 
You can see here there's uh, architect which doesn't have simulation and designer which does. So if I let's launch architect effectively. So it's going to use a different license key, but the evaluation has all of the different additions in it. So let's just create a test project. So you can see here it's going to create a project in this folder. This is actually part of the installation. Uh, that's not where I want projects to be created. So let me just copy that path um, and then I'll browse to a folder actually in where I want things to be created. Let's create a new folder called RAPSD901. Project folder and I'll call this my test project. I'll create a sysmol project without the perspectives toolbar. And uh, let me just delete the internal block diagram it's created. Uh, let's just create a block definition diagram with a block on it. And although with the architect edition I can draw behavioral diagrams such as the state chart in the same way I can with the designer edition, it's actually the same models if you like, I won't be able to execute it. But let's just create a example state chart. which has an on and off state and a, a toggle event between them. You can see how I don't have any simulation or code generation menus, so I can't actually execute it. If I want to build this, then I need to do two things. Firstly, I need to install a compiler that Rhapsody will use to build the application, which is a C++ application. And secondly, I need to run with the Rhapsody Designer Edition rather than the Architect Edition. So I'm just going to close the model from my close menu and exit Rhapsody. And let's have a look at that um, program data folder, program data IBM Rhapsody 901. And here you can see um, effectively something called the Rhapsody INI file. So if I have a model and I double click on that model, it's going to launch the default edition of Rhapsody. So if I click this, it's going to launch the default edition. And because my in my installation, I said I wanted the architect edition, it's actually launched uh, that architect edition here. You can see in the title bar, architect system engineers. So I close Rhapsody and it's important I close Rhapsody before I modify the INI file. So let me do that. Wait for it to close. I'm just going to also create a backup of the INI file. Let's do that again. Copy, paste, and then I will edit the INI file with Notepad. And you can see here in the general section, there will be the default edition, which is System Architect. So if I change that to System Designer and then close it, go back to my test project, double click. You can see it's open in the same project, but it's actually the System Designer or Designer for System Engineers that's been opened. So that means I have this simulation toolbar here and simulation menus to do a build. So the way we decide what to build in Rhapsody is through components and configurations. So create me an instance of the block to and the things it needs and compile it with the SIGWIN compiler. Now I, I don't actually have the SIGWIN compiler installed so this is going to fail. So build failed make is not a recognized or internal or external command. So the next thing I'm going to do is to get hold of a SIGWIN compiler. So I can install this afterwards as long as I make sure that I install it into the default directory that Rhapsody expects.